Hey, how's it going guys? Tech Notice here, and we all know that the iPhone 7 is rated at IP67, meaning it's water resistance up to 1 meter and 30 minutes. However, today we're going to be testing to see how much of the water vapor it can handle. So we're, we're talking about steam here today. On the left side, we have the iPhone 4S. This is not water resistant at all. We're just going to put it side by side to see how long these two devices can last. So this one and the upcoming iPhone 8 and iPhone X or iPhone 10 is also rated at the same level. So there shouldn't be a difference here, although they said that they did improve the ceiling and whatnot on the, some of the newer devices. So we're definitely going to put that up to the test in the ne uh, next couple of videos. So let's just bring it into a steamy bath uh, bathroom right now and we'll see how well they handle. So it should be quite steamy inside here now. So you guys can see the, the mirrors are all fogged up pretty badly right now. The camera is getting a little bit fogged up as well. It's definitely getting fogged up right away. So I'll just clear that in a second for you guys. Here's the iPhone 4S. We'll just set it on this little stand right here. So it's a little bit too hard to do over the camera, but I'll just do it in real time for you guys. And here we have the iPhone 7. So of course, yes, they are water resistant, uh, and I've had I had no trouble with the iPhone 7 at all. I've been actually using it in the shower over the, uh, just a steamy bath, but not as steamy as this one. We have just burning hot water running up there right now. So here you guys go, we have it, and let's just start this time at the stopwatch for each. We'll set it up for 30 minutes. And uh, sorry about the blurry camera, guys. I'll keep doing this as I go, but it's a little bit difficult still. So. The camera's not handling it too well either. So give them about 30 minutes and uh, we'll come back to it and see how well they handle. Alright guys, so it's been about 30 minutes and uh, we're just going to check up on the phones and let's see how well they're doing right now. So let's just open up. Wow, it's really steamy inside here. You can barely see anything and the camera's probably going to fog up in just a few seconds here, but we'll just clear it out. We'll just open the door a little bit and uh, let me wipe the camera for you guys a little bit. Cooper here is really interested in what's going on. But here you guys go, the phones are both off right now, we just shut off the water. Probably wasting a lot of electricity. But here you guys go, the two phones are still here. Let's just click on them and see if they are awake. So, so this one definitely is still awake guys, and it doesn't even seem like anything's going on with them. It seems like they're fine. This one right here, okay guys, so this one right here is definitely just off right now. and. There isn't any signs of water going inside at all, but it's just not working. Let's just tap the power button. Nothing. Wow, so it might just be dead here, guys. So uh, it's been inside there for roughly about 30 minutes. As you guys can see, I'll give you guys the time right here. So I can't remember exactly when this video started, but probably about 10, 20, roughly, give or take. And here it is. This is the iPhone 4. This is the iPhone 7. So if the iPhone 7 can handle it, definitely the newer iPhones with the better better ceiling should shouldn't be a problem at all. Fingerprint still works. Everything still works perfectly. There you go. So nothing going on here. This is why I recommend uh, you guys do have a case on this. It would just save it a little bit more. Um, we'll see if there's any intrusion inside here water-wise because you guys know water vapor can easily get inside your phone. Not saying that it didn't get inside this phone, but it doesn't seem like there's any effect just yet. See the iPhone 4S here. We just bring it inside the room and we'll see how well it is. So right now, there seems like there's no sign of life whatsoever with this device. So we'll put this one down. And let's take a look inside here. We'll go closer to the light and we'll see if there's anything. So it doesn't seem like anything and... I do hear a little bit of water, but... I don't think it's from the water vapor. It might be just something else. Now down for this device. So it seems like it's completely dead and the battery was charged almost all the way. So it shouldn't be a problem at all. So none of the buttons are working at all. Let's just see uh, plugging it in if it's if it bring it back to life. So we just open this MacBook. And I got the charging cable ready. This one is a little bit destroyed because nobody uses this... Uh, this uh, what is that 30 pin so old I can't remember what it is but we'll just plug it inside here and we'll see if it boots back up so and we'll just click it in this one has only one direction that it goes into so it's quite difficult there you go and there you go guys it does come back to life oh my god so this one can withstand 
a little bit of steam as well for roughly about 30 minutes should not be an issue but we'll just wait and see if this would actually boot up to the home screen uh, the apple logo is always a good sign but it doesn't mean that it will work though so let's take a look and while we're doing that let's check out the iphone 7 one more time here so although we got a little bit steamy and uh the aluminum back definitely helps uh the glass back right here we just got all steamed up as well when we took it out but nothing so far i don't know i haven't had any experience where i i felt any water going into the device there was one uh, time i had an iphone the earlier iphone 7 where i saw a little bit of fog a little bit of steam right behind the camera here but uh it still survived nothing nothing came out of that a little bit of crud right at the bottom here and here you go guys the iphone 4 4s still survived the steam test so this is very shocking i would have expected this to die by now but here you guys go we'll just swipe over and here you go a little bit lagging seems like a little bit laggy for some reason but everything is working fine no issues whatsoever i don't even see any sort of uh any signs of water or any intrusion anywhere but only time will tell usually water damages with iphone takes a little while before it gets into effect but for now i don't think anything should happen to this device and if anything does throw it into a bag of rice and it should be fine yeah this is just a quick test of these two devices to show what the water resistance and what the ip67 is like even against a device that isn't rated for any water resistance uh, resistance at all so you guys should be in good hands when you pick up your iphone 10 and iphone 8 this is it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed it do hit that like button and remember to hit that notification button if you guys haven't this is it peace out